And then you justify it by saying, well, I ain't put a razor to my head. Well, what kind of, where you get them scissors from that could cut your shit where you can see your brain cells, man? And then you got leaders among the different camps in the other states. I see you on the videos, man. I'm saying it like I I Look, I see you on the videos. I'm looking at you on the videos. Need I have to bring up some videos, man? You got to come. You got to come back correct, man. Guy coming out, out to the damn camp wearing a damn pink skirt on. You gonna let the man stand, hold post, or read? You gonna kick the man's ass first of all? <laughs> let a man come down wearing a skirt and high high heel shoes. And he's one of them brothers, man. I'm a, I'm a back, I'm a back, I'm a donkey kicker, man. <laughs> and he's out the camp. We don't have to have, we're the brother, we, gonna, we ain't going to have no counsel, brother. We ain't going to have, you ain't even, you can't even, you, 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 you can't show a brother mercy. I won't do it no more. I said, you damn right you ain't going to do it no more. You, you ain't going to do it no more around us. Because if you come out next time, we're going we gonna to put you through a goddamn brick wall, man. <laughs> we're going to send you to Hades, man. <laughs> anyway, we wouldn't kill a guy, nothing like that. But we'll, hey, brother, everybody will stop and look at him. But why do you see a guy with a goddamn Caesar coming down to camp and it's all right, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With no bed on his face. All right? Hey, with dreadlocks, man. Yeah. You ain't supposed to have dreadlocks on your, on your head, man. Yeah, and like in Nate's camp, you got guys with dreadlocks and they got their beards design cut out. They cut out all over here, man. They all lined up and everything, man. Hey, man, give me a picture where you see me with a smooth face, man. Or with a, with a Caesar haircut, man. Yeah, you, you, the only way you're going to do it is if you photos, Photoshop it. You know? Quick, I got a, uh, a scripture for... You know, you got people that work on jobs and they got to have their hair a certain amount. But that bald head, that smooth face... You know, like they showed you in the movie Superman, which came out yesterday. I'm going to watch it. All throughout the movie, the dude had a full beard. But then when he became Superman, he shaved. And then they got a, they got a thing now, a campaign of Gillette, uh, a razor, where he shaved his face. Because if he's Superman, you can't shave them hairs. I'm a super yeah, yeah, hairs, man. Yeah, How the hell you going to shave them hairs, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And well, I got I to gotta watch that movie just to see what Illuminati bullshit they put up in there. Hey. I got this quick scripture. This is the book of proving that you had certain Israelites that spoke Greek. This is uh, the book of Luke 23 and 38. And a subscription also was written over him, the him being Yahweh Shai, in letters of Greek. This is when Yahweh Shai was put on the cross. Uh, it says a subscription also was written over him in letters of Greek and Latin and Hebrew. This is the king of the Jews. So you had Israelites, which were Jews, that spoke and read Greek. If, not, if that's not the case, why would they put the inscription above the cross of Yahweh in Greek? Because you had Israelites that spoke and read and, and wrote Greek. Right, and then it says in another uh, scripture in John, I believe it's the 19th chapter. Oh, okay. All right, so we, 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 we're going... We, Looking for the scripture because you know, I mean this this is all this is all stuff in the history and in the scriptures to show you, you know what you know what we've been saying that you know you had Israelites that came from different walks of life you know, but you had you had Jews that lived among these nations that kept their customs that spoke their languages but came to Jerusalem. It's, uh, John, I'm gonna let you read it. Uh, Saint John, uh, the 12th chapter and the 19th verse, and read a couple of verses down. Like the woman, it said the woman was a Greek, a Syrophoenician by nation. Well, wait a minute. Is she a Greek or a Syrophoenician? Right. And I remember Shai used to say she was a white woman. That? It wasn't talking about Yawan. It wasn't talking about the, the actual Greeks going back to uh, Alexander the Greek, man. Right. 12 and 19. Uh, this is the book of St. John, chapter 12, verse 19. The Pharisees therefore said among themselves, Perceive ye how ye prevail nothing? Behold, the world is gone after him. And there was certain... Behold, the world has gone after him. After who? Now look up that word world. 
It said, Behold, the world have gone after them. That's right. Uh, the Greek word there for world is cosmos. Oh, my goodness. And, uh, oh, my goodness. Yep. So with that word world right there is talking about Israel, right? Yeah. Which showed that, which proved that the scribes and the Pharisees knew that they were Israelites, but they were living that, they were coming out of that heathenistic, they were living that heathenistic way. All right? That's right. Read it again. It says, the Pharisees therefore said among themselves, perceive ye how you prevail nothing. Behold, the world is going after him. Look, all of Israel is going after this guy. Yep. Because the Pharisees knew that they were Israelites and knew that they were Israelites. They were calling themselves Jews or Levites or Benjaminites. All right. But then you had Israelites among Israel that had the Greek attire, had bald heads, maybe had markings in their flesh, had a smooth face. All right. They were eating pork. But they were seeing what was going on, and they were like, yeah, this, yeah, I think, yeah, I, I got to get back into this, man. You know? Go ahead. Uh, and there were certain Greeks among them that came up to worship at the feast. Hmm. So hold up, man. Are these Edomites too, Bubble Eyes? Yeah. Huh? According to Bubble Eyes, yeah, they would be. Because why would you make a big deal about this one Edomite, as you say, Cornelius, but he feared the most high, a devout man. What about these guys? Yeah, what about, what the about them? Yeah. Now look up the word Greek. Yep, and I, I guarantee it. you it's going to be the same word, Helen. Yeah, that's what it is. Helen. All right. And it's, uh, as the definition says, in a wider sense, the name embraces all nations, not Jews, that made the language, customs, and learning of the Greeks their own. They had no other, going back to what we read in the Apocrypha, and I got more scriptures in the Apocrypha, man. See, that's why you can't follow Nate, man. You can't follow yeah. Nate. You can't follow none of these guys, man. That's right. Nate goes off because he says, you know, you can't make a doctrine out of the Hebrew. Hebrew is a part of the doctrine, man. It's part of the doctrine. Of learning this, man. Because if you didn't know the Greek or, in, or the Hebrew, you wouldn't be able to decipher these scriptures, man. Yeah. He, would, he don't know the 12, breakdown of the 12 tribes. He's going by what he was learning at the main school. He didn't right. change that. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Acts, chapter seven, Acts chapter 17, verse 4. And some of them believed and consorted with Paul and Silas, and of the devout Greeks, a great multitude, and of the chief women, not a few. What scripture was that? Uh, seven, Acts chapter 17, verse 4. And some of them believed and consorted with Paul and Silas, and of the devout Greeks, a great multitude. So these were guys that, that wasn't just, these were like the same guys that was uh, in the same group of uh, Timo, uh, Timothy's father, which yep. he was a Greek. But he wasn't, you know, he wasn't into, he wasn't into uh, being an Israelite, but his son was, and his mother was. That's right. You know? But he fell in love with the woman, man. You know, he's, the woman was pro obviously probably fine to him. And he got with that woman, you know. That's but right. he was doing his thing. That's right. You know? Yeah, the brother read that scripture. Devout. But then there were some of them, like Timothy's father, that were raised up in that Greekish way, that heathenistic way. Okay. But they got out of that and they were following Paul, and the, mainly Paul. But they were following Yahweh Shai and St. John. That's right. See, the most I got to be with you to understand these scriptures, man. That's right. That's right, brother. That's why we call you guys bootleg Israelites. <laughs> uh, the, the, the brother just read Acts 17 and 4. And when you look up the word Greeks, the word there is Hellenin. All right? And I just read the definition. These were Israelites, preferably Jews, that spoke and followed the customs of the Greeks. That's all. I got a precept uh, uh, in Psalms to, to pretty much just... Back up everything we're bringing out uh, in the spirit. Psalms 147 and 2. The Lord doth build up Jerusalem. He gathereth together the outcast of Israel. <laughs> he healeth the broken in heart and bindeth up their wounds. So how could Cornelius be an Israelite, man? Right? That's right then and there. Now that's a prophecy. That's in the Psalms. That's the scriptures. So how could a damn Edomite or the other nations coming to this truth so how could them guys in the scriptures the Grecians how could they be real Edomites actual so called descendants of 
Alexander the Greek and Antiochus and them guys. So this right here cuts uh, bubble eye. This cuts you right there. And then you go right down to 19 and 20. He show off his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shah. See that? So that's a cold damn cut right here in Psalms, man. So, but them guys will say, well, once again, they'll like the Christians.